This revision video is looking at the relationship between scientific and religious understandings of the origins of the world and humanity. What we're looking at here are the differences and the similarities and how Christians and the scientific views either come together or don't. There are some notable differences, first of all. Let's start looking at the idea of time scale. Well, if you take the scientific theories here, the world and the universe was formed over millions of years. So that whole process, which obviously included evolution, took you know, a rather long time. However, religion would say, well, look at the Bible, look at Genesis, the creation story. God did all that in six days. So massive difference there between the time scale from scientific views to religious views. Another difference is when we look at the idea of planned. So was everything made to a certain plan or was it all just happened that way? Well, science takes the view that it all occurred through random chance. So everything happened through a random sequence of events. Nothing was planned, nothing was thought out, just that's the way it happened. Whereas religion, of course, very different here. Religion believes, obviously, that God planned everything down to the minute detail. This all comes under God's plan. Everything, therefore, has a purpose. So God doesn't do any of purpose, so everything through creation was meant to be that way. The third difference that we're going to look at here and focus on is the idea of human origins. And again, different views here. Science would look to evolution, thanks to Charles Darwin's um, theory and obviously the proof that he used to back that up. And science obviously say that you know man has actually been the result of a long process. So we have actually adapted from another species, an animal species, in this case obviously apes. Religion obviously, very much a different view again. They look at the creation story and on the sixth day God created man. God made Adam, God made Eve. They were there from the beginning, from the start, along with all the other species. Nonetheless, evolution, developing over time, adapting, God made us like we were from the beginning. Christians themselves have different ways of treating Genesis and how they actually look at the stories in Genesis and the creation story in particular and how they translate it. Traditional Christians believe that the Bible is literally true, so every word in the Bible is absolutely true, it all happened the way it is said. Big Bang and evolution therefore are simply false, they're wrong. And they would sort of say and kind of make the point that, look, if you start to say that Genesis is symbolic, it's not meant to be real, then well, what else in the Bible could you suggest that isn't real, is not true? Could even the stories of Jesus therefore not be true? A more modern Christian view of, of this and Genesis would be that actually the scientific theories, like the Big Bang, are real and that's how it all happened. You see, events in the Bible are not meant to be taken literally and they would actually talk about the Bible being symbolic here and a symbolic way to explain very complex ideas. So six days God created the world, but it wasn't actually six days, it was a much longer period of time, but to make it easier to understand, therefore they say, God made the world in six days. It's a little bit like looking at the Bible as not a book of fact, it's not a scientific book, it's a book of understanding about why God made the world. So science is about the how, religion is about the why.